So as you can tell from the title itself, we're going to be trying Vietnam's Hanoi's most exotic food. And I got my wife to list out five of those exotic food from the least exotic to the most exotic. I wanted to say disgusting, but uh, it's not. Lah. So to be honest, thinking about the food that she have came out with, I think I might actually vomit. But regardless, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, remember to subscribe because we want to reach the 1K goal sub at the end of this year. So do help us in supporting this channel. So without further ado, let's begin the very first food, which is egg coffee, which is a popular Vietnamese beverage in Vietnam, Hanoi. It's a kind of creamy meringue like egg white foam on top of Vietnamese just black coffee and when it comes to egg coffee cafe Zang is the first place where it comes to a local's mind the original place serves arguably the best egg coffee in Vietnam and it was actually founded in 1946 and fun fact the founder of this egg coffee actually worked at Sofito Metropole one of the most luxurious and expensive hotel in Hanoi <laughs> So the total cost of one egg coffee is 35,000 dong and there are also other drinks such as Egg cocoa, egg beer, egg rum, egg with other things <laughs> And before we move on to the next location, there's a little fun fact So how the founder came out with egg coffee is that Back in the 1940s where milk was scarce, they, he actually replaced the milk with egg It wasn't by accident, <laughs> it was an actual concept So yeah, so let's move on to the next place <laughs> and apparently they usually we will mix it with uh, egg and then the dill and then uh, I think there will be a bit of spring onion inside so we'll mix all together and then they will fry it so you will see it as a normal fried egg but actually inside got the worm now it's not the season so quite rare to see all those like freshly like they fry from the fresh worm so yeah, what we have is just already made and then when you buy, they will refry for you. The video she showed me was more disgusting. It's not so exotic. It looks like a normal pancake, but uh, uh, yeah. So here are some B-rolls because it's not the season like Rose mentioned, so we can't really see the full extent of the exoticness. I think it's frozen one. Frozen red worm. Yeah. I feel like gagging when you... <laughs> It's like full on. like fried egg with dew. No, I cannot see. Uh. Maybe this is a part of it. Too small already. The dew strong. But it's like, yeah, I cannot see it as well. Yeah. Like, not as exotic, but I don't see it. <laughs> so, one piece of that is $35,000. So yeah, a bit anticlimactic, but on to the next location. Blood pudding intestine and porridge, and blood pudding intestine and sausage. <laughs> Are you excited? <laughs> Actually, inside here is a pig blood. There's pig blood pudding, uh, plus a bit of uh, herbs. And it's uh, inside the intestine form, and they fry it a bit. It's like it intestine but lot chong version right? yeah <laughs> sausage version this one is porridge where they cook with uh, blood pudding and they also put inside liver if you want intestine you can also ask them to put it inside and it's also mixed with uh, herbs usually what we will eat right is actually we dip this one with prawn paste but as you may know prawn paste the original one the smell is very very strong so maybe some of y'all might not be able to endure the taste so you can ask for sauce so that is mine because I can't really endure the smell of corn paste mm. okay I help you okay yeah. Okay, right? The skin very chewy. Some other places, right? They fry it until more crispy for the skin, which I prefer. But this shop here is actually more popular for the porridge. That's why this one, they, they did fry it, but not so much. That's why the skin is still a little bit chewy. I think the hook quite strong. Not fun. 
sticky but got the relatively bitter after this. <laughs> you need too much. So the total cost for these two plus two drinks is $140,000. But now we're going to make a move for our next destination. Let's go. On to our next dish, and this dish is taken away from a restaurant called the New Day or New Day Restaurant. So it's basically a mixed rice kind of concept, but they do sell this dish, and this dish is called Nhộng Giang Lá Chanh. And in England version, it's just pupa larvae. I will be eating insects. Not feeling very well right now. A little bit of information. Usually, this kind of dish in uh, Hanoi, my hometown, is not a snack. If you go to like Thailand, right, you will see this from the night market where people just uh, sell it for you to try, maybe a snack or something. But for us, we eat this with actually rice during lunch or dinner, especially in summer. Suddenly, so many people are stressed. It's okay, but because my mind keeps thinking about the balave, it's just how do I say it's crunchy with the like there's paper wrap, yeah, oh, yeah like very egg yolky texture. The taste is a bit like egg yolk, yeah. So actually, it's not that; it's just all in your head. Like you look at it, then you think like it's it's disgusting creature. But the dish itself, I would say it's quite tasty though. <laughs> Flavor is okay, it's just. My mind is very strong. Okay, so this is getting a little bit more adventurous, so on to the next dish. How much is it? I don't know, maybe. I get more quality. 8,000 for one. It's so cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I usually will eat like this. This one is one herbs that I don't know what is the English name for it but usually uh, we will eat this one with this to uh, balance the taste of the egg if you are not used to it. So usually when we eat this, we will put in a bit of salt and apparently MSG. <laughs> if not, it will, it will be very bland because this is just boiled. You will put the salt inside the little bit of soup inside like this and you eat. There are two parts, the egg yolk and the egg white. I don't know what's that, but it's just very, very, very hard and crunchy. I also usually don't like it, but never mind, I just eat it. Mm. Pro tip, when you are first timer, just eat, don't look. <laughs> have a seat, have a seat. Okay. How is it? Very salty. Yeah. Salty? Or maybe she put a little bit too much salt. No, sometimes when you eat, then got a thin flavor of plastic. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit No, don't. Is it crunchy? No. Oh, yeah. Okay, got your leaf? Uh? Yeah, I got a leaf. <laughs> You know the leaf is disgusting. The leaves ah? Yeah. Oh, so it's not the balut. <laughs> it's a herb that he cannot take it. Sorry, I thought the leaves will help. <laughs> Apparently not. Oh, I promise this one is nice. It's just yolk ah. Yeah. How does it taste? Yeah. See? Tastes like yolk. It's nice. The leaf a bit weird, weird one. <laughs> so the egg white. I cut it into half. I give, I feed you both. So the um, thing that you tastes like plastic is actually the bone. I love this part. People say I don't know how to eat because the other part is supposed to be the good one. So yeah, that's balut for you guys. Sorry, I'm not a exotic eater. <laughs> Please don't flame me in the comments. So 
we have come to the end of this exotic food tour, but we want to add one honorable mention, which is... Amblok! Snails. So Rose will show you how to eat snails. <laughs> Fish sauce with kumquat with lemon leaves, lemon grass, chili, uh, sugar. Oh, spicy. Spicy. Uh, already eaten snails before. It's actually quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why it's in honorable mention. And it's relatively exotic. So you have just done the snails. That apparently there are also small snails that cost 60,000 dong and the snails that we have eaten cost 90,000. So we come to the end of this video, which is the top few foods of exoticness that you should try in Vietnam. What do you think so far? <laughs> I think I did a very bad representation of how I eat the food so I apologize again which I will apologize many many times <laughs> Favorite I would say is snails lah Yes! Yeah, it's an honorable mention and it's not super exotic still relatively exotic and it's my favorite You must dip with the sauce, you don't dip the sauce then no taste Right, local Soak in the sauce So if you are coming to Vietnam and trying all this food do remember to comment down below and check out or if you have even more exotic food that you want us to try or me to try <laughs> so you can laugh at my expressions uh, do comment down below so if you do like this video remember to like share and subscribe oh wait for the exotic right if you were to comment snake no